Hey guys, in this game we're gonna see a build that I've been using recently in some very specific situation, but it's like so fun to play and it's all also like the best build to go for in those specific situation. So it's basically the one that you've seen, I think it was against Hamer. It's like the full movement speed build. Uh, here I'm facing Lysandra, uh, Yone, uh, Jin, Zillian. So it's a ton of MS and kiting. So I decided to try to match that with Stridebreaker, Stormraiser, Navori, PD and then Bork will be the main last item. And you're gonna see that it helps you keep up with champions that you're not supposed to be able to keep up with. And you can, of course, also only go this build when you can afford to skip a uh, Kraken Stayer, to skip an armor pen item, because the enemy comp is like giga squishy, but giga hard to get on top of. So you're gonna see how I use it. You're gonna see also how I build a snowball for myself. Uh, it's a pretty fun one, it's a pretty fun build. So try to see in your games when it's the best option. And it's actually a really, really powerful one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. Okay, guys, we're still on the Unranked Two Masters series in Mid Diamond. So let's see what we have here. Uh, Jin Zillion, it's actually a pretty good combo. Um, like Zillion can. Like enable Jin pretty easily for him like to get to get his four autos both like offensively and also defensively it's gonna be really hard to get on top of they have like so much movement speed so that's a pretty bad thing for us the only good thing is that we have a bit of hard CC in our kit like just a tiny bit like Brent is never gonna hit Q on these champions like it's not supposed to be possible but Fizz can hit a max range ultimate and Ash Arrow is going to be giga important. Like Ash Arrow into Fizz ult and then we can pretty much kill anyone. Um, Lucian Ash though is pretty aggressive in lane. Like still, uh, this is going to be very painful later. But early on Lucian Ash should have the lane prio because of Ash should also have the mid game because of Lucian being enabled. Um, so yeah, we should, we should like make sure that bot lane is able to abuse that earlier strengths. Then Fizz into Lysandra. Lysandra is playing TP. Fizz is playing Ignite, both with Electrocute. Well, basically Fizz wants to get enabled. She wants to... Like, the thing is, Lysandra should be, like, very safe into Fizz. If he gets hit by ult, she just, like, ult herself, basically. So he needs to try to get a lead early on in the first few levels, which is not the easiest when you're Fizz. Uh, Brent can maybe help him, but, I mean, again, like, Lysandra, like, this champion can be, like, so safe. Unless the waves push into us, but yeah, let, like we need to try to put Fizz ahead. Because one thing that I'm seeing is that squishy, 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 squishy. Everyone's squishy in this game. So it's gonna be killed or get killed. Damage is gonna matter a ton. Um, Fizz could like really be, uh, be a big threat for them. Even though later, like, uh, they, yeah, they have Zilli and they have a lot of MS. Uh, top lane though, he's playing TP and I'm playing goal, so I have uh, some like an offensive some advantage uh, for like trades later for all lanes. Uh, so I think I think going even could be fine. Oh, did I get? Yeah, I get some XP. I actually get level two from first wave just because of that. Well, we got two wards. That's actually really good. Careful, careful. Yeah. Yeah, we both get level 2 first wave. Me and Fizz, that's pretty good. Um, anyway, yeah. I need, I, need, I need to beat this Yone. I need to make something happen. Be a one clinician by myself. Also, it's a really good straight breaker game. This guy doesn't seem like he's gonna go, go tank. He might go off tank though. Um, but also, I feel like if, even if I go kinda even... Later on, like the ghost advantage could be the difference between kill him or not kill him. But I'm not gonna play for that. I only auto E because I was thinking maybe he has demolish. Oh, my auto cancelled. Ah, oh, that's pretty sad. Okay, we get his flash. I need to need 1 million of XP. Should have denied more. Okay, maybe I can surprise him because all I need is 
these three casters to get level 2. But usually that wouldn't be the case. Yeah. I guess he got surprised. I don't need to flash. Could just wait for my E. Or just auto. Uh, he has TP though. And the wave is not the best. So how do we fix that? It's actually fixed. Because he hit me. I mean, it's not like short term fixed, sadly. It's going to be long term fixed. But I don't risk uh, staying and dying. Okay, maybe I can help this here. I messed up, I should have, I should have E-flashed. Nah, I thought I was in range. Okay. Well, I will get the kill on Ash. It's something. I should have E-flashed. I... Nah, nah, I should have E-flashed. That's it. And then when I flashed, I thought that I was in rage. I was not. It's okay, though. Ends up being good. Please get his way fixed. Cassandra loses a ton. Plus she shared like a lot of XP. I hesitated too much. I have an item advantage. So maybe I can fight him. Like he's fighting me in my weave. Even if he has W active. To be able to take a good trade. And remember that... I have infinite stain, he doesn't, so even bad trades can become good trades. Okay, I lost a bit too much of HP though. Okay, I, I I hit the wrong minion. I almost throw that. Because I knew I was gonna get level 5. I knew I was gonna get level 5, but I, I hit the wrong one. And I almost didn't get level 5. Okay, well, uh, plenty of mechanical mistakes. Let's, I, I would like check my posture. A lot of mechanical mistakes come from my posture. Often notice that. And it should be the same for everyone. So let's sit up. Hop. Okay, tier two boots are gonna be pretty good here because like he wants to rush tier two boots. Rampage. No, Diana is perma mid. Okay, so so what? She's, she's trolling me being permamid. Just drop a word, respect, and she's just gonna be wasting her time. Wait, brain farms up and gets scrubs and everything. Okay, let's play on my level 6. I have a ghost advantage. I, mean, I think I can just run him down now. Yeah, I just kept walking in a straight lane, so... No way, man. Oh, he doesn't die from that auto and now I give a shutdown and the wave is bad. That's terrible. That's tragic.
That's so, so bad. Tempo nerves are hitting hard, it's quite true. Yeah, actually. Actually, that's what I have. But the thing is, in, in this matchup, I can't complain though. Because he's been, like, he's suffering from tempo nerfs as well. And he actually suffers from tempo nerfs, like, more than me. Because he also, also suffers on his Q. But here, like, oh, I will lose so much experience. I mean. Okay, well, now, now I'm back. I don't know why he would do that ever. Oh, now he loses a lot of XP. Does he have TP back up? I don't think he does. Train care. Yeah, I don't really want to care though. I'm gonna flip this. Okay. Good enough. I don't know why he would do that. Fighting me in that big of a wave. I know I'm doing weird things with my stuff, like I'm buying crit when I'm actually rushing straight. But this crit is gonna like lead up to either PD or even Kraken could be done or like Storm later, like whatever. Like of course, like I'm gonna build and use crit as in the mirror. And it was my best spike when I like when I bought it. It was like the best spike I could go for. And you wanna spike with Trent? I can just do that. I didn't even try to play it well. I know that I just... Um, I just stat check him at this point. And I still had my flash just in case. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now if I need to kill him again, I need to be a bit more mechanically intensive. Just a bit more. Okay, he has no W, he's gonna Q3. Then I can go for a couple autos. Okay, we see Diana. I can just also crash this cannon wave and take the turret. I don't want to use my demolish because I could save that for next turret. And also, I didn't have more XP like this. Okay, just going for some poke on the turret. I have a lot of gold, I think I would just spend it. I need to go crazy here. Does the word see me? I don't think so. Nice. Well, I don't know. Like this, this Ash is doing a lot of work from level one. Actually, like she got me the first blood by getting me like level two in the first wave. And also I have Fizz, and then she made my play worth on mid lane by finishing the Lissandra. Then she roamed and killed again. Let's ghost now. I was keeping my E for his flash. Yeah, at this point, you don't have to do much mechanically. It's always better, but... 
not necessary. I have six grubs and demolish. I'm gonna drop a ward here. Gives a lot of info. Okay. Mm. Well, I guess he's dead again. Ah, shit. Yeah, that was poorly played by me. It's okay though, I, I, like, I don't want to spend too much time killing him. Like waves at this point matter more than him. I think if I kill him, it's gonna be on a dive. No, actually the best way to snowball my lead is probably to empty that jungle. Make sure that Diana doesn't go, come back. Also, like, T3 top is not what's gonna make us win and close the game. Thank you. Okay, that's Jin ult. That's about it. Mm. Actually, I probably want Navari second. Or let me try Storm second, yeah. Like they're all so fast, maybe if I have Storm Razor, I can match the speed. And maybe I can be speed. Ah, he has ult. I sh he should have just ulted. I think. What are your thoughts on Static Shiv? Uh, you shouldn't buy that on Trint. That's for sure. Like there's like you have items that do everything that static does in a way better. Like why do you build static? Do you build it for um push power? Well, straight is better, Enic, uh Hydra is better. Um yeah, Tiamat items are way better than static to have the push. Are you building it for like raw stats and the crits and the damage? Well pretty much any crit item is better. Untrained. So, it's kind of a meme item, far from being like as strong as, as it used to be. Like on train, like you need to actually have some kill pressure, or pretty useless, and it doesn't it doesn't give you any kill pressure. As well, that's why we don't even be a Hydra when it's like the best push item in the game. Like you almost never build it because it doesn't like allow you to kill your opponent. Okay. Shit. Is he gonna go for golems? Does he have anything better to do, the brand, than going for golems? I don't think so, so I will let him his golems. I want everyone to be efficient with this time. Mm. 
bro. Storm Razor is actually like so crazy. I think it's a very underlooked item. Like no one thinks that Storm Razor is actually broken, but I actually do think that. I mean, it's not broken because it's very situational again. Sometimes it's not gonna matter that you run very fast, you know. On many champions. But still, I feel like when it's good, it's just like way too good. Oop. I'm gonna take one wave I need for this. But now I see that. Oh, there's someone I saw with W. Okay, I guess I guess I can't by myself. How will Lucian use his time? I'll stand on the ward and wait. Nice. Oh, they're actually struggling. I didn't realize that. I thought we were still like stomping from Ash Domination. I mean, we have two items on bot, but they have two items as well. Jin's doing pretty well. Ah. Okay, watch me catch up on her. Eh. Do I need ghost? I guess. Guess I do need ghost. But yeah, I was pretty fast. I was speed. Oh, this guy's dead. There's no Zillion with him. Okay. He's not dead. But we get a lot. Yeah, you can keep pushing. I will. I will. Nah, I'm so fast, man. I'm so fast. Yeah, I just went and hit. <laughs> yeah, I always, I always have something to, to make me faster. It's funny. Maybe the ping should have been on, on Nash. How can I be faster? I want to be faster. Let's go PD. I am speed. I've PD soon. Can we Nash? No, we're too low HP, I think. I am speed. Speed! What's the issue? Me but... What is he doing? We legit ping him a million times. If you trade kills it's fine, but I guess he doesn't trade kill.
Okay, that's a blue buff for my team. I should wait, Lucian, and my pressure. Wait, me, push. Let's not wait, me, push. It's late. He said got time. We didn't have time. At least I get the body in him. Now I can start grouping with my team. We have the prior anyway. I guess we're gonna do Nash now because they based. It's fine. Let's go Borg. So now I'm fast and I stole them. Insane. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We don't have to do any like crazy lane assignments because we took every turret to just like push every wave. Push all waves and dance. Minions. Just like, like the idea is that the game is won by default if we don't do anything. We just like bring the minions to the nexus and then we dance and they're gonna be forced to engage and then we win because we're stronger that's it slow no hurry it's okay i guess Maybe I ended up me being in a hurry, but I saw that like sh like shit was shit was about to go down, so I felt like they were gonna group my team. But yeah, they used a lot to get me. There's no ult on Liz, no ult on Fizz, no ult on Yone, and my team was able to kill the Diana during that time. Oh, that worked? What the fuck? It's okay, we get soul first then, I bet. I know I cannot play without boots. Yeah, it's soul and end now. What well, if we got the inhibs as well? So now we have. Yeah, it's over. GG. Okay, well, maybe on that last play, still pretty good. Uh, well, I might post it actually, like we were ahead, yes, but we were ahead because of me. And also I really enjoyed that build. I think it's interesting to have some games on that build. On the speed build. Yeah, I do believe that uh, Storm Razor really fits well as a second item. Sometimes. Like here, it was good into legit everyone. Like the only armor they had is Taba is here and Zonia is here. But all of their, these gems like kite me and have a ton of movement speed. But this way I was able to actually match that movement speed with items. So yeah, um, if I posted it, well, thank you guys for watching it. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck can have fun in game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace, much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>